Uh, here's some pretty good looking mechanic sets from Duralast. Any of these will actually work out really, really well. Ooh, I like that. Look at this plastic. Comfort grip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I dig it. Some magnetic tray organizers. Those are nice. Got some new stuff here. Look at this palm ratchet. I haven't seen this stuff in a while. Look at all these pliers. Ah, oh, killer deal, killer deal. I need to get some midget wrenches too. Uh, I don't currently have any. Those would be fine to have for sure. Some little scissors. Is. Matt needed these, 20 bucks. Make sure to point those out to him. Here's a nice kit. Check these out. Some ratchet wrenches, can never go wrong with that. Bigger ratchets, some smaller mechanic sets. Impact sockets. See, that's not a bad deal for impact sockets, and those are gonna last you for a while. 25 or 32 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. Oh, Reagan even found something. Some oversized sockets. We've got some wire brushes. I don't think I'd go with the screwdrivers, to be honest. Here's some special tools, though, like this little tiny OEM thermometer. There's a wire stripper thing. Seal puller, see that's a pretty good deal, $15.99, doesn't need to be snap-on. Look at these OEM hose clamp pliers, 40 bucks. That's a heck of a deal. Timing puller, three jaw pullers, little knee pad. Some other stuff in here, let's see. Piston ring retainers, pliers, those are nice. Those come in handy, but I like the pivoting metal one. There's a harmonic balance puller. I think Renegade said he had a cheaper version of that one. Nice little magnetic parts holder. Look, and even got some cordless lineup. Now I'm not really sure how I feel about the cordless stuff. You guys would have to let me know in the comments. But these things have a tendency of breaking cheap metal. Let's see, there's a little three jaw claw action. Nice flexible magnet. Plenty of scrapers. Cool, good stuff. I need one of these right here. Brake bleeding kit. See, this would be handy right here. 44 bucks, okay. Oh, dude, look at that, I just bought one. It's 40, 35 bucks. OEM, extraction filler pump. Good for differentials, transfer, transaxles and so forth. Some nice stuff here, guys. This has gotta be one of my favorite style O2 sensor wrenches. I have this one. I don't recall who makes it. I might have gotten an OEM version of that. I'm not sure, or I could have gotten it from Jeff. One of the two. These helical kits, not my most favorite. All right, let's keep on cruising. We came here for a wash bucket. Let's go see if we can find one. Some nice jacks and jack stands. Ah, uh, that's for coolant, honey. That's for coolant and engine oil. We're probably gonna be over here. That's what we're looking for. All the wash. And soapy soap stuff's probably over here somewhere. Let's see. I feel like we're getting closer. Let's see, is that it? Oh no, that's just a five gallon bucket. See, look, here's some auto and glass. I feel like it's gotta be here somewhere. They usually have a kit. They only got toys too. But see, that's a big, big thing for 25 bucks. It's got too much. I need something similar to that, but like not this? a too big, looking for smaller version of this. Okay, come on, come around the corner. We gotta have this wash and wax stuff somewhere around here. I just don't see it. You might've been right, Ray Ray. It might be back here. What do they got here? Ooh, no code jump packs. 240, that's kind of a lot, I think. 210, 119, 91. Hmm. Okay, some nice creepers. Kind of dig that. I don't All know. Right, we're gonna put together our own car wash bucket kit thing here. We got a bucket, we got the mitt, shamwell, and some turtle wax. Oh look, they got some sure lights, 25 bucks, kind of like easy red, some other flashlight stuff here. All right, what's going on everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back trying some different locations throughout the house uh trying to figure out which one i like the best i do like the one inside at the table with all the cool car pictures and stuff 
my place for smoking and joking really has always kind of been the garage and now I kind of have one. Slowly but surely I'm getting through and down to the nitty gritty of the things that I have here in the garage. I think I got a handful of stuff that I'm taking to Angel View or Goodwill clothing wise. And then uh, it's, I just got to find somebody to buy this soft top. I don't know. I, it, it's a killer deal. Okay, I had it off my 21 Rubicon. It fits 2018 to 2023 unlimited series. It's a tinted soft top. Never used it. They didn't ask about it and they didn't seem to want it uh, when I offered to bring it down. So now I got this $3,000 soft top kit. I had it listed at $1,200. Couple of bites, mostly spammers, you know what I mean? And then I dropped it down to like $900. Figured if I can get a van payment out of it, it clears up space in the garage and it's worth it to me. I could pay one month for the van payment and be caught up. So. One of these days, hopefully she's gone. Once she is, I mean, then I'll start putting together the welding table and I'll start, you know, organizing my metal stuff here. We got the welder. We might do some DIY at home welding stuff. Not what this video is about though. So we did get a chance to go around the inside of AutoZone. I haven't been in there. I haven't done a store walkthrough in quite a while. I've attempted to at the Home Depot a handful of times. But the music's so loud and I haven't really got a good editing platform program yet. I don't have extra money to toss at that per month. I just use the ones on my phone. So if I'm able to talk over a faint amount of sound in the background and it comes out clear where you can't hear the music, then we're good. Otherwise, I got to dump the footage. So I have made a couple of treks to Home Depot. AutoZone, we got lucky. They really weren't playing anything. There was some overhead commercial going on. And we were able to check out a lot of stuff. So don't neglect the auto parts stores. Look, I'm telling you guys, a lot of good tools for sale for a fraction of the cost. Sometimes a third of the cost of what you would get on these tool trucks. Sometimes half the cost of what you'd find on Amazon. Lyle's a pretty big name brand over at O'Reilly's. Duralast, obviously, name brand and OEM over at AutoZone. I've owned a lot of OEM stuff in the past. That stuff's just held up. I haven't had any issues with that. I don't think you guys are going to have any issues with it. Lyle's a pretty big name in the industry as far as professional mechanic tools are concerned. They're pretty big at O'Reilly's. Everyone knows about Carlisle from Napa, okay? I'm sure there's some stuff over at Advanced Auto that's also beneficial. Uh, I haven't been to a Princess Auto because I don't live in Canada or anything like that. Uh, I don't have a Menards. I have gone to Tractor Supply. You can find some Dewalt and some Crescent stuff there. I've gone to Builder Supply. You can find some Crescent and Milwaukee and stuff over there. Um, but overall, I feel like if you're tool hunting, look for these different places and see what you can find. The swap meet's a good way to go too. I offloaded a bunch of stuff there. And there's this used tool store that's in town. It's called the Toolbox. And they have a bunch of used tools in there. And sometimes you can find some pretty prized gems. Then of course you got your eBay, you got your Amazons and you got your stuff like that. And you also got your guys that are in the shop, okay? You can always go from guy to guy and be like, yo, hey, what's going on? I don't know if you're trying to get rid of anything. I'm just going to throw it out there, though. If you are trying to get rid of something, let me know first. Tell me how much you want because I'm trying to build my tool collection. It's taking me some time. But if you're willing to let go of some stuff or you want to trade out of something and sell it off for some cash, hey, I'm your dude. Come hit me up. And you'll be surprised. I've formulated a lot of really good friendships like that. So that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys found it a little bit useful and insightful. I hope that kind of makes sense. Uh, put the bug in people's ear. Check out your auto parts stores. Look at your other supply stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, etc. Uh, I've, I've dwindled it down to a fair amount of tools that I can get away with doing most anything and everything on. Got away from some of the specialty stuff, but you know, it's all good. We're going to try out other things later. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to those of you that have your beers or mixed drinks, and we'll see you guys next time. Deuces.